Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to import your actor core motions into Motion Builder and apply them to a couple of different types of characters. Here's a quick look at the workflow that we're going to go through. We'll start by importing an actor core dummy character and then load the accompanying Motion Builder template into the human IK skeleton definition. We'll then import the actor core motion, set it as a source, and then bake it to the actor skeleton. After that we'll import in our own rig and do a custom mapping for the human IK skeleton. Any outside characters you can set as character instead of source in the character control panel and proceed to bake the motion. Let's start off by importing in our dummy actor FBX file from actor core. The first thing we need to do is define the skeleton. We can achieve this by simply going up and clicking define skeleton in the control panel. After that you can click on any bone and then load the skeleton definition template provided from actor core. Once you load it up, you should see a green checkbox in the control panel. From there, go over and click on the lock character icon in order to preserve the character setting. Make sure you choose biped since we are indeed dealing with a biped character. Now you're ready to import motion files to the character. Let's go over to the file menu and select import motion file and then find our actor core motions. We're going to import two at a time here. Once imported, we can then select our first motion from the take dropdown and give it a playback to see our dummy actor break into a little jig. Once we're okay with that, we can give the second motion a playback as well, one that is maybe a bit more modern. It's looking good so far, so let's look at importing another target character. We can use the group tool before we do that to temporarily hide the dummy actor. Next we'll go over to the Asset Browser to find our boy Aragor and import him in. Let's set our character to Aragor now and then choose Character as our source. Once we do that and play back, we can see that the target character will now be driven by the source dummy's motion. We can do the same thing for the other motions as well. Just select it and play back. You'll see Aragor will follow suit we can uncheck the dummy group to see the target character individually. Next, we're going to try to put these motions together. Let's first go up into the character controls and select the bake to skeleton function in order to bake all the motion data to our character Aragor. Once we do that, you'll notice that the retargeting state will be changed to none, which means that the motion is now being driven by Aragor himself. We can load up the second motion as well and scrub through the timeline to see that. Notice that the source is still set to none, indicating that again, the motion is being driven by Aragor. What we need to do next is go into story mode and use the non-linear editing tool in order to merge the two motion clips into one. What we want to do first is empty the existing tracks and insert a new character animation track. From there, we'll select the Aragor character and then go to insert current take. Once we do that, the current motion will import into story mode as a motion clip. We can scrub the timeline to see the motion. Let's repeat the same process to bring in the next motion as well. We need to make sure that we select it from our drop down menu first. Now that all the takes are in the same track, the next step is to combine both clips in order to create a smooth transition. Let's first drag the last clip to align with the first one. Then we'll use the match tool in order to make both joints position identically. I'm going to select the right foot as the part to match to and make the transition at the start of the second clip. You can see that once we do, the right foot will remain planted after the end of the first clip and our character will take a step to the left. However, the clip transition is not super smooth, so we can simply drag the last clip forward a bit to fix the issue and get a smoother transition. After we do that and play back, you can see that the blend between the two motions looks a lot more natural. Next, we want to create a new take and bake the current motion as well as the skeleton. Let's select our new take first and then go up to Bake to Skeleton. Once we do that, we can get out of the story mode and see the completed baked motion in action. Now you're ready to export the motion. The last thing we're going to do is take a look at how to characterize your own custom character in Motion Builder. We're going to import in an FBX file for our Blue Man character to get started. Since it's a custom character, we're going to need to define the character's rig profile first. So let's go up to Load Skeleton Definition and then select Define. 
From here, I can scale down the bone size a bit and then zoom in to start at the hip bone. We can go ahead and double click on the dummy bone in the character control panel and then click on the corresponding bone in the viewport, all the way down for each bone. This process can be a bit monotonous and might take a few minutes, so I'll just go through it a bit faster. The spine structure is a bit tricky, so you want to make sure that you start at the bottom bone on the reference image in the character control panel. You'll need to go through the finger bones one by one as well, which can also be a bit time consuming. Everything else should be fairly straightforward. Once you're finished with the bone mapping, simply just press lock and define your rig as a biped and you're good to go. Once that has all been set up, then you can apply your actor core motions to all three characters separately since they are all compatible. And that's all there is to it. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Hopefully this helped all you Motion Builder users out there. And keep in mind that there's always a lot more info and discussion on our forums over at forum.reillusion.com as well as plenty more tutorial videos in our learning center. I hope to see you in the next video.